Ministry of Housing will procure hurricane strap kits. Essentially, four hurricane straps with the screws needed to be able to attach them. And this is a hurricane strap here, just like this. And you can see it has screws in it. It goes on essentially to the rafters and to the ring beam. And it helps to hold the rafter of your roof down. And you put on four of these at the four corners of the house together with what's called a cross beam. Now it isn't, a, it isn't absolutely that it will absolutely save every single roof, but it will significantly add to the resilience of your roof should we have an event, a hurricane event pass through our area. And uh, what we intend to do is then these, once they're procured by using funds from the catastrophe fund, those, that procured material will then be sent over to the DEM and they will be pressing the DEOs and others into the distribution to be able to distribute these to those that are below the property line. I want to also use the opportunity to encourage people that may not be below the property line to take advantage of this opportunity to be able to add hurricane straps to your house. Because what they do, they help to keep your house, the roof of your house, connected to the rest of the house. And this is critical and we found that this definitely makes the house much more resilient. So this is the procurement uh, process together with the distribution process that we've settled and this is exactly what we're hoping to start distribution. Now we know we have about six weeks before the next hurricane season so we want to get these procured as quickly as possible. People will be distributed these hurricane straps with kits will be these plus screws and we're encouraging people will be doing a public service announcement with videos showing people how to be able to install them on their own and that is exactly how we'll do. Get them distributed then people will come back to see that they've distributed them correctly and any assistance that those that can't get them put on then we'll be able to provide that as well. But that is, it is a significant improvement to be able to add resilience to roofs and this is what we think will benefit many many people in Barbados. We're going to start with 5,000 kits to begin with and then we hope to ramp up over time once we see how those 5,000 are distributed and applied.